Hello everyone, welcome back. In our last few tutorials, we discussed how to create a sample Hello World program in Java. Note that we saw a main method that executed the our program. The main method was entry point to our application. In this tutorial, we will learn in detail about what is a method, what are functions and procedures which are related terminology associated with methods, what is method syntax? How do we call methods? Now let's understand what are methods in Java. A method is simply a set of code which is referred to by name and we can call at any point in a program simply by utilizing that method's name. Now think of method as a sub-program that is taking some input and returning some value. So method is essentially a collection of statements that we have grouped together and we have given it some name. And then we can call that method from anywhere in our program and we can provide it some input parameters and we can expect some value in return. The value in return is optional. A method may not return a value. You might also see words or terms like functions and procedures. For this course, they are all alike as they all refer to collection of statements. In different programming paradigms, different terminologies is used. But for us, functions, procedures and methods are all same. Functions and methods usually return a value. And procedure is a term used to denote a method that contains a sequence of statements grouped together and it may not return any value. You might wonder what happens when we call a method. So whenever you call a method, the application branches to the body of that method and when that method execution finishes, the control returns back to the area of the program from where it was called. To understand this in more detail, let's recall our hello world program where we had a method called with the name main. Note that here we had a main method which was taking string arguments as the input and it was printing hello world by calling the println function from the system's core library. You might wonder that this method main is taking in something which is called arguments which is an array of strings. However, we are not using it anywhere. Why does it exist? So let's do some experiment. So let's say I remove this string ARGS and now let's compile the program. The program will successfully compile because this is a valid method declaration. However, when you execute this program, we might see an error. This is because the Java application expects the method with the name main which takes string array arguments and which is static. And there doesn't exist any such method. Therefore, the error is main method not found in class program. Therefore, even if we don't use the input, we have to specify it. I hope this is clear. Now let's start to dissect what each word means in this main method declaration. You will observe that this declaration starts with keyword public. Now public is an access modifier which indicates that this method is visible outside this class also. Then we have a return type. In this case it is void. Void means the method doesn't return anything. Main is the name of the method. And then we have a parameter list in the parenthesis. In this case, string arguments is the parameter list. And then we have set of statements inside the method body. And then 
If there is a return type associated with the method, we may optionally return some value from the method. The keyword static in this method indicates that this method is associated with a class. Note that there are other kinds of methods also which are not static. If you remove the static keyword from this, the method will become a non-static method. And non-static methods are also called instance methods. We will learn about object classes and instances and instance methods in our next tutorial. For now, let's understand how do we create more methods in our program. Let's say I want to introduce another method which adds two number and returns their sum. So it returns an integer value which denotes the sum and the name of the method is add two numbers. It takes two parameters first number and second number. I declare a I declare a variable of type sum. I declare a variable sum of type integer and I assign it a value first number plus second number. And then I return this value. Now from this main method I can call this method add two numbers and I can pass 2 and 3 to this method. Note that this 2 value gets mapped to the parameter first number and this 3 gets mapped to the value second number. And since this method returns the sum I can collect it here back and then I can print that sum. Now let's compile this program. And when we execute this program, we should expect the sum of 2 and 3 as the output. And yo, we get 5. Note that if I remove this keyword static from here, and then if I compile the program, I'll get an error that you are trying to call a non-static method add two numbers from a static context. What this means is I am trying to call a method add two numbers from a static method main and this add two numbers is not static. So the point to take away from this slide is you can only refer to static methods and static numbers from static context. If you want to refer a non-static method from a static context like a main method here, you will have to create something called instance, which we will see in detail quickly in our next tutorial. But for now understand that if you have a static method main and if you want to directly call another static method, it is possible, but you cannot call a non-static method without creating any instance. Our program is compilable again now and we can see its output. So to record, to revise, we created our add to numbers method where public was the access modifier. The method was static its name was add to numbers and it was returning an integer value and it was taking two parameters number one and number two and it was returning an integer value which denoted the sum and how did we call the number we called the method by specifying the name of the method followed by 
parenthesis and we provided the two values 2 and 3 which are mapped to the parameters number 1 and number 2. When we call the method and the values that we pass are called arguments and these arguments gets mapped to the parameters number 1 and number 2 that we specified while declaration of the methods. If the method return type is void, it may not return any value. In this tutorial, we also discussed about static methods. Static keyword makes the method static. Static method means that these methods belong to the class and we can invoke these methods without creating any instance of the class. So in this tutorial, we understood what is the syntax to create a method, what, what is the way to call the method and what are static methods. In our next tutorials, we will learn in detail about classes and object-oriented programming. So stay tuned.